Hey everybody, welcome to Spot TV integration updates inside of Jackrabbit Connect. We're super, super psyched to be here with you guys and just kind of share a little bit what's going on with us. Yeah, thank you guys so much for having us. Absolutely. So quick introduction, just want to let everybody know who we are if we haven't had a chance to speak with you or you haven't had to listen to one of these brain trust things that we do. These, uh, <laughs> these gripping webinars. <laughs> yes. Uh, so real quick intros. I'm Sam Slater. I'm the growth director here at Spot TV. And I am uh, Bobby Francis, CEO here over at Spot TV. Awesome. Well, now that you know who we are, let's get you a little info and kind of quick overview of what we're doing here today. Yeah, so um, we have really three key points that we kind of want to discuss with you guys. Really exciting stuff that we've we've done and, and are on the frontier with Spot TV and, and the Jackrabbit integration. Um, one of them is obviously uh, learning more about some of the latest updates with the Spot TV and Jackrabbit integration. We've done some really, really awesome stuff uh, as of late uh, based on just some initial feedback and just some of our original goals uh, about the overall integration and, and how we will um, are making the entire experience for admin on site and, and for parents just more efficient and more seamless, um, kind of bringing in that all-in-one, stay inside of the Jackrabbit dashboard experience. Um, we're also going to talk here about um, a very recent release, which is in your app video through the Jackrabbit Plus. So uh, Spot TV is now streaming inside of Jackrabbit Plus, and we'll kind of speak to that here in a little bit as well. Uh, and then we're going to tease you guys on a little bit of video AI. Um, we are extensively working on uh, and down several channels for use cases for video AI. And what this is, is going to bring just tremendous uh, operational advantages, uh, safer centers. Uh, we'll talk about some use cases here in a little bit, but some really exciting stuff with the AI frontier uh, in your spot TV video streaming. Awesome. Yep. We're going to have some fun stuff coming for you guys. Uh, really going to be an operational success pattern here for you. Well, let's um let's jump into some of the the new integration things. Yeah. So um right off the bat, keeping parents inside of the parent portal, um it's it is already there all in one right now. But what they're now able to do with Spot TV um, is register inside the parent portal. Uh, what's really exciting about this too is we're auto filling the registration. Um, really, once they go to register for Spot TV, it's going to uh, recognize the user already, fill out all the information. So at that point, they really just, they need to edit a phone number or something like that, or change an email. They could, they don't necessarily have to. Um, and then they're just creating a username and password. Uh, so simple, straightforward, easy. Uh, and again, this is all inside of the Jackrabbit parent portal. So um, yeah, it's really just a quick time saver, right? So yeah, oh, obviously want to get them registered, but we don't want to anybody to double register or take the time to do this kind of thing. So uh, it's going to be super, super simple. A couple of clicks, create your your own custom username and password at that point in time, and you're rocking and rolling exactly. to, to get approved. With, with the deeper integration, we're already recognizing the user. So it's really, really uh, much more efficient and seamless experience on the, on the front end, get started side. Awesome. Now, uh, instead of managing your users um, separately, you know, in the Spot TV dashboard, you really can stay inside of Jackrabbit at this point. Uh, you're going to be able to approve and deny users, uh, even in bulk format as well, which is something that has been requested for some time now. So uh, <laughs> both Jackrabbit and Spot TV dev teams went to went to work on this for you guys. But inside of Jackrabbit, um, approving and denying parents, bulk approvals, deleting the users, it's, it's, it's all in there. Um, you can be able to see your user inf information, place accounts on hold. Um, all of that, which was inside of Spot TV, is now inside of Jackrabbit management dashboard. Yeah, it's it's it's. I guess at this point, we just kind of want everybody to understand that what we're doing on a reoccurring basis with the Jackrabbit team is trying to make things more efficient and to create these things that save you guys time. And that's just this is just one of those. It's just going to create a quicker user experience for you and your end to, to complete these tasks and then move on to the next thing. Um, in addition, uh, you're going to be able to create, manage, and assign the groups uh, for all these classes or all your classes inside of Jackrabbit as well. So um, inside of the dashboard here, you'll see a Spot TV uh, in the classes drop down to Spot TV. You select groups. Uh, and then what's going to happen is all the cameras are going to populate uh, from the Spot TV dashboard 
or the database from on our end into your Jackrabbit dashboard. And you're going to be able to create your, your, your groups. Um, so whether that be, um, you know, a beginner's gym at two o'clock or um, really what have you, you're going to be able to create these groups inside of the Jackrabbit dashboard. And then you're going into the class section here and assigning that group to the class. Um, and that's it. And then parents who are assigned to that class will only receive that group of cameras that you you created. Uh, and again, keeping all of this activity inside of Jackrabbit. Perfect. Yeah, one stop shop. That's that's the goal, right? Just to keep everything in, in one yeah, spot. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, my turn, right? So let's talk a little bit about how parents can view once you guys have this part set up, because there's a couple of, of ways operationally they can jump in based on what's most convenient for them. And uh, each one kind of has its own little experience. And we just kind of want to give you a quick insight on all, all of those. So uh, probably the biggest and most popular one is the Jackrabbit Parent Portal, right? We wanted to create this almost out of the gate with a one-stop shop, uh, as, as we said a moment ago, where parents can log in right where they see their classes, their events tab, uh, their billing and payments, they'll have a spot TV tab that they can click, open up, log in, and see everything right there uh, within the browser itself. And so super, super convenient. They can switch back and forth between those cameras, as you can see over there, based on what their access is with inside the Jackrabbit classes tab. And then uh, they're often viewing at that point in time. So again, it's it's kind of all conduced into one spot here for them to make it super, super convenient, uh, especially on, on the site. The parent portal um, is great and a fan favorite. Uh, the mobile optimization of it <clears throat> is coming soon, um, but this is going to give you your largest view. Uh, grandma loves this view uh, from out of state for sure. Um, but getting it inside the Jackrabbit parent portal was phase one and the mobile optimization is coming soon. But Sam's going to speak to two mobile friendly yes. uh, options here just shortly, which honestly are par none. Agreed. So let's jump into the first one. First one is the ever popular Spot TV mobile app. Uh, we obviously love this guy. It's a great way to download the free app, jump in. Uh, as Bobby mentioned, we'll create a, a little bit of a an account here that you'll be able to log into as well. And so super, super simple. Once you log in, uh, it will bring you your carousel wheel at the bottom of your cameras. You're just going to tap those. It's going to load. Great thing I love about the app is turning it sideways and the screen uh, it goes full screen at that point for you. So you do get a nice big image. The software is built with facial recognition software. So once you log in, you can either set up a code to log in and out at that point in time. Or just like everybody, you know, at this day and age, we can stare at the phone and it'll automatically unlock for you at that point in time. So uh yeah, and what's really cool about this, too, once you've already uh, synced or created your account in the Jackrabbit Parent Portal, you can just log right in here to the Spot TV. It's going to already recognize the sync, and um, you're off, off to the races with the Spot TV app that way. Yeah. Super easy. Both iOS and Android. Again, free app to download, throw on the phone, and you're rocking and rolling. All right, number three, and the big guy, the new guy, right? The one that everybody's mm -hmm. loving right now. One of my favorites. Right. All right. So the new Jackrabbit Plus app, uh, this guy is a rock star and this is going to be your ultimate one stop shop going forward. And so uh, this will be your app that is built and branded basically for your center. And it's going to house everything that you you guys do on a day to day basis, including the spot TV viewing. So now everything that we do is inside uh, the Jackrabbit Plus app and it's going to be the way that parents do everything that they really do, I guess, on the Jackrabbit portal, uh, but mobily optimized and ready to rock and roll and branded specifically for your location at the well, too. So uh, this is a service I think you guys really need to look into and take advantage of because this is, is really going to set you guys up with yourself internally as well as all your parents and just make everything run smoothly. Yeah, what's super unique about this is not only are we live streaming inside of your mobile app and kind of this uh, white labeled branded solution uh, for, 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 your, for your center, but uh, we're also providing in-app support. So uh, you'll see here um, on the, the third image uh, is that there's a little help icon at the bottom and then pulls up the information and our team is, is supporting those tickets coming in uh, inside from your app. Uh, so really, really cool user experience inside of here, uh, in addition to everything else Jackrabbit uh, and the Jackrabbit Plus team has done uh, on top of that. So um, kind of makes it that all in one. 
Yeah, and support is obviously a big part of that. Um, you know, built into that, we want to make sure that the experience is seamless and that you guys have help wherever you need it, along with your parents. So, all right. If we haven't done enough, <laughs> here's the fun stuff. The real fun stuff coming. So, AI. Um, yeah, so what is video AI and some potential, or really where we're coming soon, use cases? Because um, we are already pursuing uh, and working with uh, AI. We actually, on um, another affiliate brand, or some re releasing one of these features here, we'll speak to here in a, in a little bit. But um, AI is going to change the way we operate our facilities uh, here in the future. And um, we will be operating more efficiently. We will be smarter centers. We will be safer centers. Um, there are so many use cases uh, to begin pursuing with AI, um, but it really is going to be an evolving uh, dynamic of, of, of intelligence, you know, as, as, as industries grow and as industries evolve, so are the use cases going to evolve. So it's always just going to be something we're going to stay on top of, uh, rely on customer feedback as well on, on, on new things that are needed, but just something we're really excited about what is coming and, and how, uh, we're going to be able to leverage it, uh, in, 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 in our, with our customers and, and, and just create safer and more smarter centers. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun to look at these possible use cases and then see the potential of what they can do, not only in a safety mindset, but in an efficiency mindset and an experience mindset um, for for owners uh, and and for for students and parents. So at the same time, so it's, it's been really cool. So we're just going to keep this short in in a more of a teaser format because some of the things that we are working on um it is so new and some of this stuff is uh there's a couple that should be uh, readily available later this year and some that are going to roll into next year uh, and again it's going to just kind of going to be kind of an ongoing build but um things that we are looking at and pursuing are drown detection so the cameras that are in swim schools or you know if you have a pool at your center uh identifying potential drown uh, threats and, 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 and detecting that and then alerting management and staff. It's crazy, the technology and how, how it identifies this and, um, how it can alert and, 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 and we can respond to it. Um, child left alone. So if God forbid there was a child left outside, child left in a specific class or a room or, you know, uh, really wherever, um, we could identify that it's a child and not an adult, uh, and then notify staff and management on site as well. Ratio counting is going to be something, you know, we're, we're excited about, you know, U.S. Uh, Safe Sport, you know, has a one-to-one -one ratio compliance and, um, you know, there's other th applicable things for this. You know, we're looking at, you know, one teacher and nine kids in, in a dance studio and, you know, you can see all your studios, um, you know, upon maybe a, um, a web page and you can kind of have this entire counter of, of, of adults and children and uh, make sense of it via a, a really cool GUI. Um, and then also gun threat detection, which we are actually releasing uh, here this month or this coming month. And um, you will be seeing some announcements coming soon on this. But really what we're doing is um, with the cameras outside, we're able to detect a brandished gun, which is like um, exposed, not holstered. Um, from 50, 60 upwards, you know, depending on the camera uh, that we're using there, you know, upwards of 100 feet, which is critical in um, safety situations, you know, getting advanced notification um, and alerting management on site. But what's really cool about what we're doing with this technology is we've created a, more of an end-to-end -end solution. So not only will we, will we be able to detect a gun in the parking lot, um, but we're actually partnering with a third-party monitoring station that's going to identify the weapon, uh, verify it, and then uh, dispatch local police as well to your facility. So the, the actual methodology, the technology, um, we're really, really, really excited about this. These are kind of just some early, early stuff that we're looking at and actually doing. Um, and some stuff we wanted to at least kind of tease you guys with about what's coming and, and what to get excited about with having camera systems, having, you know, spot TV inside your facility and 
you know, it's, it is, you know, the live streaming programs, one thing, keeping families involved, engaging families. Yeah, that's great. Um, you know, but Spot TV has several other facets to it. You know, the training and management of the video uh, is, is huge for, 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 for new teachers and staff and, you know, just general liability and risk, you know, that you run in, in your day-to-day -day operations. But the operational side of the AI use cases that we're going to be able to do inside of facilities is just something that's so exciting and needs to be really, really pursued um, in, a, in a way that, you know, um, makes sense for the industries we service and um, brings about a lot of positive, positive change and, and, and impact to the industries. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things that we all want one, we all want more of one thing a lot of times and that's time, right? And so whether these AI use cases come into play in a security situation or they come into play in a response situation or even just a day-to-day -day operational basis, the goal of this is to save time because time equals betterness, right? Whether that's in a response to an issue or whether that's just you creating more time for you to do other things. And so whether it's gun threat detection, whether it's drowning detection, all those kind of things, obviously time and response is huge there. Um, you know, ratio counting and or just creating operational things day to day creates more time elsewhere for things. So uh, time is really the the saver here. And, and I think AI is really going to, over the next couple of years, create, like Bobby kind of alluded to, this new way that we run our business and the, the new directors um, and new owners and how they operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's going to be really intriguing how we're able to build this out for you guys. And we want to be we want to be out there. We actually kind of want to do it with, with almost kind of like a moral um, stamp on it as well, too, because I think, you know, obviously there's so many ways you can go with this. Uh, we want to drive it and uh, create it with your feedback and, and have a lot of fun with it too at the same time. Amen. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys uh, as yeah. always. Yeah. Love being here. Um, love, love partnering with this Jackrabbit crew and, and doing some fun stuff and uh, look forward to, to what we can bring you guys in the future. So can't wait to speak with everybody soon. Thank you guys. Appreciate everyone's time.